Welcome to the semifinals of March Madness. Today our top eight go head to head as they vie for the coveted top four spot. In bracket number one, we have Stegosaurus versus Parasaurolophus. So let's deep dive into Stegosaurus right now. While a rare dinosaur, we do have three recognized species of Stegosaurus. We have S. stenops, S. ungulatus, and S. sulcatus. S. ungulatus, meaning hoofed roofed lizard, was named by Othniel Charles Marsh, a member of the Bone Wars competition of the late 1800s. He named S. ungulatus in 1879 from a quarry in Como Bluff, Wyoming called the Dinosaur Graveyard. You can go visit and see this lovely sign. It is the longest Stegosaurus at about 23 feet. There was also one found in Portugal that has been tentatively assigned to this particular species. They're still working on it, trying to figure out if it's different or not. Some people even think it might be a Miragaya. We don't know yet. We're working on it. As for Ungulatus in the United States, it has longer hind limbs than S. stenops, smaller, more pointed plates, and several small, flat, spine-like plates just before the tail, of which it may have had eight tail spikes rather than four. S. stenops, which means narrow-faced roof lizard, was also named by Marsh in 1887. It was found at the Garden Park Quarry near Canyon City, Colorado, many articulated specimens, meaning they were found in life positions still connected to each other, have been found at this particular site. So we know that the plates were arranged in a staggered double row like we're used to seeing in a lot of the paleo art. It is known from around 50 partial adults and juveniles. Babies are called steglings, and is that not the most absolute adorable thing you have ever heard in your life. Some scientists advocate for combining S. stenops and S. ungulatus just because they don't think they're different enough to be separate species. They seem pretty different to me. Some paleontologists also believe that S. sulcatus, which means furrowed roof lizard, should be its own genus. This is due to its unusually large furrowed spikes. The bases are so large that they might actually belong on the shoulders or hips. And I mean, look at this guy down here on the bottom. I mean, he doesn't really look like Stegosaurus, so I'd believe he was something else. In any case, Stegosaurus is badass, no matter how many species, so vote for it.